Welcome back to the Happy Camper, coming to you from the beautiful mountains of Southwest Montana. Today we are filming on location at our sponsor's dealership, Rocky Mountain RV in beautiful Butte, Montana. And today we're gonna to take a look at the 2020 Arctic Wolf 251MK by Forest River RV. This little fifth wheel is quite an impressive little package for its size. So when we talk about a half ton towable fifth wheel, a real half ton towable fifth wheel in Montana with big passes and uh, the changing weather conditions, high altitudes and high winds, this is what I would be looking at if I had a half ton pickup and decided I wanted a fifth wheel, I'm gonna do some traveling, I might want to um, spend a little extended stay in it someplace whether it be the summer at the lake or you know take it down and tour a little bit of the uh, the southern u.s in the uh, in the winter time so this is something that i think is quite an impressive little fifth wheel for what you get in this package I just don't know that it can be beat for the dollar and, and for the, the size and quite the package that it is. I'm gonna go through the technical data before we get too far into this so I can uh, so I don't forget. Uh, so the unit is, uh, like I said, the 251 MK. Uh, this, this trailer is 29 feet overall length. So that's a very short fifth wheel for today's standards. Uh, we're also looking at a dry weight of 7,318 pounds, a hitch weight of 1,420 pounds, and a GVW of 11,620. And that does put this unit in the tow rating for almost every half ton pickup on the market with, you know, the six and a half foot bed and, um, and the tow package. So that really gets you into uh, a unit that you can uh, you can tow very easily. Uh, this particular interior color is called natural mink. That's in my options list here. And then uh, we have a cargo carrying capacity of 4,300 pounds, fresh water tank capacity of 49 gallons, gray water of 35, a black water of 35, and a water heater capacity of six gallons. So that gives you your kind of your technicals. Like I said, it does make this unit pretty attractive to the person with a half ton pickup that is committed to having a nice, smaller, easier to get around with pickup uh, to drive around town, but still wants to be able to tow a fifth wheel. And so that's really where this particular little unit shines. So I'm going to start right here at the uh, at the entry door and we'll just walk all the way around the unit. We'll try to do it in some type of a uh, of a logical fashion so you can get a good look throughout the entire unit without actually having to put your feet in it. But uh, it, it, once again it's it, film is better than pictures but it still doesn't replace actually walking in. It's a very comfortable feel when you walk into this trailer and just look around and, and it's a very nicely done unit. And um, I, don't, I don't ever like to talk about pricing and that type of thing, but the price point is very impressive in my opinion. And I might go through that here in a minute and just kind of show you where you're looking at. So at the back of the trailer, the very back, this is a, a rear entry door on this unit. And just behind that, we have this huge wrap around u-shaped dinette in the back of the trailer i have some shades drawn today as you can see and these are very very interesting shades that uh, arctic wolf does for their fifth wheels for this year they got an exclusive on it and they're trying them out out there and i think they're really a nice shade um, but you do have complete panoramic windows so you have a window big picture window on each side plus the big one here on the back um, i do have them closed because the light was playing uh, havoc with my camera lens today so I did close those up but you can see as you move these blinds up and down they will give you a little additional light or you can have a block out completely so they're a pretty interesting design in the fact that you get kind of both the best of both worlds uh, they call them a zebra shade and you can obviously see why they've got a little black and white stripe to them but uh, they're really a nice shade I've re i'm really impressed with them so uh, again this this big dinette this u dinette here in the back not only do we have great views around it it does lay down it will make another bed and this is going to be a bed big enough for truly two adults could lay here and be comfortable uh, we do have these big storage drawers down here on each side underneath the dinette benches and these are absolutely huge storage drawers. Up overhead, we do have uh, additional cabinetry, as well as, of course, LED lighting that you can see throughout the unit. And they do a nice job with their lighting here to make sure we have enough lighting to make the unit very bright inside. 
On the off door side, you can see our small slide out here, and this is going to house our two cushion theater seat, which is reclinable on both sides. We do have, of course, cup holders built into the armrest, and it does have heat and massage and lights and all the whole thing on it. Uh, this is out of that Thomas Payne collection. We've talked about that before in our videos. It's a very nice, small little theater seat. This does not make a bed. That is one, one downside to it but it is gonna be much more comfortable than your standard um, sofa to sit on as far as using the unit. And that's, again, why I say you could, you could really spend some time in this coach and, uh, and really enjoy it. Just forward to the theater seat in the slide out, you're gonna see an eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. It does have just a little storage drawer built in down below it, and then this very nice big pantry here um, just forward of that. The fridge, of course, is the gas electric. Arctic Wolf is standard with a 12, uh, 12 volt Freon pump system. Uh, Rocky Mountain has been uh, optioning their trailers out of that 12 volt only and putting in the more conventional RV gas electric still. Uh, I think the 12 volt is something that's coming in the future. It's this, the technology is getting better and better day by day. This particular one, like I said, is an actual gas electric uh, absorption system. So you can use this thing completely off grid and get out in the backwoods with it. The kitchen in the unit is a very nice use of the space. They do tuck it from the from the entry door here up forward to the bathroom bulkhead wall and wrap it around give you really nice overhead cabinetry with some glass inserts and some backlighting. It really makes it a nice look. They also do of course have a TV location here. Rocky Mountain doesn't order their units with TVs to speak of unless it's a forced option and it's not with Arctic Wolf. So you're going to see that they have a space here for TV but it doesn't have it in it. They will install it for you if it's something you want and they'll do it about half the price that the factory does it. And some people just say I don't want a TV in my RV at all so we're not going to we're not going to install one. So whatever you want to do there you you can save the scratch on it up front or of course they'll put it in for you and still save you money over what the factory does. Down below that we have a little like a almost a desk type of uh, arrangement here. It's extra countertop plus some extra storage drawers and then down below that we do have the little electric fireplace and that one's from Greystone. It's a very nice look. It gives it some nice uh, ambiance in the unit. It also does of course make um, it has an electric heater in it so it does make heat. We do and when that's run in accordance or, or in conjunction with your overhead ceiling fan you would be amazed at the the amount of heat that that'll produce and how nice and warm it keeps the the main room of this of this trailer so if you do like to have your your bedroom a little cooler than your main room you can set your thermostat down on your on your you know your main thermostat a little bit for your forced air gas furnace and turn this on and get some really nice a nice warm main room to stay in and then of course retire to your bedroom where it'll be a little cooler later that evening you will see, of course, that the uh, the shades in the kitchen area here are the metal mini blinds, and um, they do that because they don't want the fabric in the kitchen where you could have potential for grease or or uh, water splatter on them. So they're just trying to protect the blinds there. Um, as we move forward, you can see, of course, a little entertainment, a little Furion entertainment there, and we do that does plug into your TV as well. Um, you will see a little overhead microwave, um, the gas range with a nice little backsplash there. And this is the uh, three burner glass, uh, three burner gas cooktop. It does have the glass countertop that, you know, just adds in for additional countertop space. Not that this trailer needs it. It does have quite a lot of countertop space, but it, it does add that little bit of extra. This is also from Greystone. Uh, and it does of course have the gas oven as well as the three burner top up here with the uh, kind of the cast grate, which is a nice look in here as well. Uh, the, the oven does have your window and it is backlighted so you can't actually see into the oven. It's an amazing thing in the RV industry that it took us 50 years but we finally have a, a window in an oven. Uh, your overhead cabinetry is very large in this. It, it spans way up um, and gives you lots and lots of room there. Uh, your sink is set on an angle here in the corner of the uh, the counter, and we do have a lot of counter space back behind it here. And then this is the uh, farm style, and it's the uh, the black stainless that they're doing here, and then they use the restaurant style uh, spring assist pull out sprayer faucet. This is the high rise gooseneck, and has a little single lever down there, so it is a very nice faucet. We talked a little bit about pricing, and I'm going to show you this. Now, I am, I'm filming this unit the second week of April 2020, uh, and this unit uh, is an MSRP of $51,547, and uh, Rocky Mountain's got this thing on sale for 33 
884. I'm pretty impressed with what this unit has in it for that kind of money. Again, pricing can change tomorrow on these, so don't take that as law. I am going to link to this particular unit on Rocky Mountain's website in my description, so you'll be able to see this particular trailer. And then, of course, you can you can browse the rest of their website for um, any any other units that you want to look at. Their website is RockyMTNRV.com. They do have all their pricing and everything clearly marked on their website, so you'll be able to see all that. Down below the sink there, you do have uh, some additional storage. There's two drawers as well as a storage door. And these are going to be pullouts here. So a little bit of an unconventional kitchen. And of course, they're full, full extension ball bearing roller guides. They are plywood boxes. Um, so it's a little bit unconventional of a, of a configuration. So you have two drawers here and two drawers over here. But you do get four full-size drawers in your kitchen. You do get these big overhead cabinets. So I think you've got plenty of storage for a unit this size. Uh, we'll start. go ahead and start up towards the bedroom bathroom. I'm going to start in the bedroom and I'll come back to the bathroom. Uh, one other thing that Arc Wolf is doing is their bottom entry step here has storage built into it as well, which is kind of interesting. I mean, just a little extra spot for whatever you might have. And that's nice to see, you know, small details being added into units like this. As we come up into the bedroom, we do have uh, windows here in the hallway so that's going to add a little light up here so you're not you know walking into a dark hallway you do also have of course these hard swing doors that close off your bedroom up in the main bedroom we have nightstands built into either side of the bed and those are going to have outlets in them they do have a little corner shelf there so you've got a spot for glasses or a glass of water or you know if you do have a CPAP like I do uh, it's nice to have that spot to be able to set it there um, and, and easily access it at night plus have the electrical outlets there we have a little bit of overhead storage here as well and then of course across the top you're going to see a backlit little shelf there on the front wall we do have some led uh, reading lights this is a full 60 by 80 home size queen mattress so it'll take normal fitted sheets you don't have to buy anything special for rv or you know tuck a bunch of extra fabric in and of course if you're a taller person it's nice to have that little bit of extra length on the bed over here on the door side in the bedroom you're going to see uh they, they do have a tv location here this bracket is set up to where you can move your your uh, main room tv up here um, and put it either place if you wanted to of course that bracket can always be replaced with a swing out which is what i would do in here so you can move it over into this corner and see it easier from from the uh, from the bed area and we do have two hanging wardrobes here built into the bathroom wall which is a really nice feature uh, they've gone away from doing the little wardrobe slides in arctic wolf and they've they've installed this closet in almost every trailer they build it gives you as much cubic footage for storage as their old wardrobe slide does it lowers our our tongue weight on our unit and it also lowers the cost of the trailer so it's a win-win situation we do also have shoe storage down here underneath the cabinet so they're really thinking these units through and maximizing these small amounts of space that you have in RV. Take a quick peek into the bathroom here as well. Uh, the bathroom is a fairly small bathroom for, uh, for an RV, um, but again, in these smaller units, this is the place that you're gonna see them uh, crimp it down a little bit when they're trying to save length. This is still a very, very workable bathroom for a trailer that is truly 29 feet overall length is pretty amazing that they gave you this much space. You have plenty of room here at the foot of the uh, the toilet, this is a Dometic porcelain toilet they're using. The uh, shower is very roomy. I'm going to call that about a three foot wide by two and a half foot deep shower. It's a really nice big, and it's got a um, slide across shower curtain door on it there as well. Um, soap shelves and that kind of thing built into your, into your um, shower surround there. And we do have an overhead um, skylight there as well. In the... Uh, in the front part of the portion of the bathroom here, you're going to see, of course, the bathroom sink. Um, fairly standard affair. It's, a, it's an acrylic sink set into the same seamless countertop they use down in the main room. And then down below, we do have a little bit of storage. Up above, we have storage with a medicine cabinet, as well as over here, we do have some storage as well. And that is a nice big storage cabinet there. And again, if you've got extra linens or that type of thing, towels, things, things that you're always short on, space on in an RV, they've thought about that and installed those places in here. And then just kind of a little nook here for maybe some of your uh, you know, toothpaste or that type of thing. Uh, contacts case it seems like something because you're, you just don't have a ton of space around the sink here but they're going to give you that little shelf up there to add a little bit more so again i think the people at uh, at forest river are doing a, a good job with with listening to their customers through their forums understanding what 
the market is asking for and do, doing their absolute best to make it happen. We're going to go ahead and go outside now and take a walk around the exterior of the 251 MK. This particular unit, like I said, we are here at Rocky Mountain and we are up in their parking lot right in the front next to the street. So I apologize about any extra noise from the street, but I do have the big uh, muff on my microphone today. So it shouldn't be too bad. And it is an absolutely bluebird beautiful day outside, which you'll see. I was going to show you this little panel here at, right at the entry door as we're uh, walking out. This is the main control panel for the unit. Um, this I've had to play with for a long time to figure out what it is. This is a dimmer for the awning, the exterior awning lights. So it, it allows you to dim that down if you don't want it so bright outside. So that's kind of an interesting feature that I hadn't seen before. And then of course we have um, awning switch and slide switches, um, all of your exterior and interior lighting switches, your monitoring system, and then right up above it, this particular unit was also optioned with uh, with what Arctic Wolf calls their juice pack. And, and you can see anything, any trailer that has this little display with um, the voltage output, so the unit's showing 13.1 DC volts today. Um, it does have a factory installed solar panel up on top, and that is, and of course this is the built-in regulator down below. So that's really nice to be able to tend your batteries, especially if you're in storage or if you leave your unit out for a week as you come back to work, you wanna leave your fridge running or that type of thing. It does keep everything working. So it's a, it's a nice feature to have that. And like I said, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in southwest Montana. Back up here so we can get a really good look at this unit. And we've got it out here by itself so you can really get an appreciation for the overall shortness of the of the coach. It, it really is a, uh, a nice little fifth wheel. And when coupled with a, a smaller pickup, you'd really have a short overall length and easy to get in and out of... Uh, in and out of spots, you know, backwoods camp spots that really do well. It's got great ground clearance on it as well. The front of the unit, of course, does have the uh, the Arctic Wolf logo there. This is a white fiberglass, uh, high gloss gel coat, front fiberglass cap. Uh, it does, of course, have the inset lighting. We are running, this is a BAL frame and pin box system. Um, BAL, I think, has some of the better products on the market as far as uh, the quality of their build. I've always been impressed with BAL um, parts and pieces, and they do a lot of different things. They just started doing frames here recently, and Arctic Wolf kind of jumped on that because they, they liked their, their approach to the frame. Um, of course, we do have electric jacks here. Like we talked about, the overhead awning up here is uh, all power. And it does have, and that's gonna be hard for you to see, I'm gonna walk over here so we get a little better view of that. This has the uh, lights right here on the edge of the awning arm, and that's gonna light back towards the center of the unit. I haven't used those personally, um, but it does look like it'll do a good job at lighting the unit out here. Up above, we do have some overhead speakers, uh, exterior speakers. We have uh, Forest Rivers patented little uh, dog D-ring for your leash here, which is kind of interesting, but it's nice to see that they, they are thinking of our, our furry friends. We have a propane tank mounted on each side of the unit. There's one here, and there is one on the other side. They do come standard with a 20-pound tank. You can upgrade these to a 30-pound tank. There is room for that inside this unit, but honestly, 220s will get you a pretty good service. You really don't need to upgrade to 30s unless you're really going out in cold temperatures and spending some longer stays. Uh, in the front belly compartment, you're going to see full cross storage um, one side to the other this guy does have big doors on both sides of the unit so it does give you quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of space in here again even for a smaller unit we do have this little LED light strip at the front of the front of the compartment to give you a little extra light if you are down here at night and then you can see a little bit of the aluminum structure here that Arctic Wolf uses um, and of course this is a two by three tube that is welded here um, in all the all the joint locations so you can see a little bit of the structure down here as well as we move down the entry door side you're going to see of course aluminum alloy wheels these are going to be a 15 inch six lug wheel and of course 15 inch radial rubber mounted on there you will also see the uh the bal four post electric leveling system and and again this is from bal part of their frame system I have been extremely impressed with the, um, with the quality on this particular electric leveling system. This is a four post on these smaller units and, and it really has worked flawlessly. I've been very, very impressed with it. So happy to see that they have uh, made a good relationship with BAL and they're using not only their frame but their leveling system on their units as well. And I've really, you know, one touch leveling on a unit in this price point. Again, I, I just think there's so much value here for what you're looking at. 
You also get the step above, solid entry step that does come all the way down to the ground. It's kind of neat that they have the uh, Arctic Wolf logo etched into the step there. That's something that Arctic Wolf has does, done special for them. We do also have an entry grab handle that's fold away and we do have the outside shower mounted here on the back corner of the unit instead of on the off door side. I like that feature because it seems like it's always a pain to get around the back of your trailer on the off door because that's the side that you always got parked up close to something else. So I like the fact that you have the shower there. It's handy, it's accessible when you need it. On the back wall, you're gonna see of course a rear bumper for sewer storage. That big back window, and then of course we are prepped for Fury on backup camera up top. It doesn't come standard with the camera, but it does have the prep system, so it's an easy, easy install. The unit is wired for 50 amp service, as you're going to see right here on this side. And coming down the off-door side, of course, more to the technical side of the unit, we have the service accesses for the refrigerator. We're going to have all the water connections right up here kind of at midship, and then our sewer connection right down here. This does have a single sewer connection, not two on it. It only has one gray tank. Keeps the system a little simpler. You don't have two spots that you have to hook up. This is the off-door side of your storage compartment and your off-door propane tank over here, and that's exactly the same as the other side. Um, down underneath, we have a little additional storage, and that's gonna house both our spare tire and our battery systems. So that's kind of what you're gonna see down here. And you do have a little bit of additional storage in there as well. So once again, this is the 2020 Arctic Wolf 251 MK fifth wheel from Forest River RV. This is a division of Cherokee. Really a nice little unit. The, the uh, j just the quality of the build, the options, the features for something in this size and this price point, I think it's very hard to beat. If you're interested in this unit or any other on Rocky Mountain site, their, their website is rockymtnrv.com. They'll have all their pricing on their website as well as, you know, pictures. They do use our videos on their, uh, on their listings as well, so quite a few will have videos. And of course, we are from The Happy Camper, and if you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel out greatly. We appreciate you hanging around to watch our, our video today on this beautiful bluebird day in Montana. We'll catch you next time around, and happy camping.